Welcome back. It's that time of year again, and back to school means a new grade, sometimes a new school, making new friends, homework, and the stress and anxiety that comes along with it. Making a house call tonight, Dr. Renee mm -hmm. Tamlin from West Front Primary Care. Welcome, Dr. Tamlin. Thank you. So a lot of, I've, I've seen, it was funny, I was looking on the internet today, and I saw this little picture of this little boy on his first day of school, and he was just crying, <laughs> and he was upset, and that's expected, you know, especially when you cross over maybe elementary, middle school, is that when it gets really stressful or yeah, high school? Yeah, I'd say any time that you're making a change from one school to another, to a new school or to a new level of school, that's going to cause some anxiety for kids. But it, it's across the board, from young kids all the way up to high school, I'd okay. say. And, and it lasts, I think, after that for, yes. for adults <laughs> going true. to work every day. And for parents who are dropping their kids off exactly. at school. <laughs> it's, it's all there. Yeah. So what do you recommend parents can do, maybe for the little ones? I'd say for the little ones, um, you know, definitely showing um, getting them ready ahead of time. I'd say for all ages is important, but especially for the little ones, making sure that their sleep routines are getting back onto school routine before mm -hmm. starting school. Yeah, you know, everyone tough. stays up later and gets up later during the summer, and then to make that transition can be pretty tough on kids. So yeah, I remember that missing the school <laughs> bus. Oh yes, <laughs> and preparing them as best you can, telling them how that day is going to go, what they can expect, knowing that they're going to pick them up again at the end of the day, and you know, it's all going to be back to their normal family routine after the day is, is a good thing for the young ones. So what do you recommend for maybe the little ones or teens? who are going to a new school, especially that transition to high school. Oh yeah, that can definitely be a cause of anxiety. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend if you can, try to get into that school before, if it's a new building, you know, go in with your child and figure out where your locker is going to be and where your classes are going to be so they can kind of take that element out of it before they have their first day and that surprise isn't there and they can focus just on, you know, reconnecting with their friends and things like that. And maybe reconnecting with friends that they haven't seen much over the summer would be a good idea. And, and so they can talk about their classes and kind of have a game plan in place for that first day. Now I know teens out there, and the parents, you can probably attest to this, they're going to act like, hey, you know, everything's fine, but they're right. probably really nervous oh, yeah. and, and, and anxious. So how do you kind of get through to them? And yeah, I think it's definitely ask them about it, you know, um, ask them if there's specific concerns that they have going into it. Make sure they're checking in with them after that first day and those first couple of days and, and really talk to them over dinner and how did the day go um, and, and see if you can troubleshoot any of the problem spots they've come up with. Um, not to mention, you know, you know, healthy eating, you know, diets can be a lot different in school than during oh, the summer. Oh, those so, vending machines. You know, breakfast is important when you get up a lot early for school that gets missed a lot get them some good protein and fiber and and make sure they're eating well during the day and then sleeping well at night just to kind of help ease that as well so basically for the little ones and the teens you're saying kind of build them up to it a little bit yeah reintroduce them to the maybe if it's a new school and then always get you get that breakfast isn't so important. oh yeah it shouldn't be a big uh, a big summer one day in school the next it's got to be a transition so start now start and I now. would say also you know I'm the daughter of a recently retired teacher and the teachers have just as much anxiety as the <laughs> students so students keep that in mind the teachers aren't all that excited sometimes either <laughs> nice all right well thank you so much Dr. Tamlin you're welcome if you would like more tips from Dr. Tamlin or more information on West Front Primary Care you can always head over to our website at northlive.com